From the Opopco Studios in Oklahoma City, this is an OU update. I'm Jenny Carlson. Bedlam looms for the Sooners, and after the way Oklahoma State played Baylor, clearly the test is going to be large against that Oklahoma State offense. Charles Tapper, the Oklahoma defensive lineman, was asked about what it's going to be like going into Bedlam, expected to be an underdog. It's always fun going in and as going in as the underdog because people don't expect us to win, but we know deep down that if we just do our tasks and just go out there and just play hard, that it's a game of football. You never know what's going to happen. So if we just go out there and play hard. Hopefully we can get the win. Offense, stay on the field. We keep the offense on the field. So, yeah. Ryan Aber, our OU football beat writer, joins us on the phone now. And Ryan, uh, Charles Taffer talking about just doing what they need to do. But it's going to be a challenge against these Cowboys. What is the biggest uh, areas of concern for the Sooners as they face that Oklahoma State offense? Well, I think the, the biggest thing you look at is the, the pass defense last week. They, they stuffed uh, Kansas State's run completely, but they were able to beat them deep with some, uh, some big pass plays uh, that, that kept K-State in the game in the first half. And, and certainly Oklahoma State's uh, passing offense has improved greatly uh, over the last few weeks as, as Clint Shelf has, has settled into that spot as the starter. Well, you mentioned that pass defense, and in the first half we saw Tyler Lockett go crazy. Oklahoma's uh, defensive scheme was basically stop the K-State run game, which they did really effectively, but then it looked like it was going to kill him as, Kevin, uh, I'm sorry, as Tyler Lockett goes for 206 receiving yards in the first half. Second half was a different story, in large part because of Aaron Colvin, Ryan, but we know he's not 100%. Uh, yeah, he's not even close to 100% by the end of the game. It looked like his shoulder was just, uh, his arm was just hanging there off of his shoulder. He, he injured the shoulder early in the season, uh, had it uh, had it aggravated in the Baylor game and had to miss Iowa State. They didn't want to use him hardly at all on Saturday, but after the way Tyler Lockett uh, opened things up uh, with the beating some, some guys, Zach Sanchez and, and Cortez Johnson, I made a decision that they had to have Aaron Colvin on Tyler Lockett. That was the only way they were going to win the game. And, and Aaron Colvin, especially considering what he was going through, uh, performed remarkably. Well, uh, lastly, uh, Ryan, before we let you go, with Aaron Colvin playing uh, more in that K-State game than the, the coaches had wanted, does that factor at all into going into Bedlam? Obviously an off week for the Sooners here, but... Would it, have, uh, would it have any impact as they point ahead towards uh, playing the Cowboys and needing Aaron Colvin healthy? Well, I can't imagine that Aaron Colvin won't play in, in Bedlam, but certainly uh, nobody needs this two-week uh, break like, like Aaron Colvin. He's still in pain. He uh, didn't practice uh, Monday, probably won't practice, uh, maybe not until uh, till the game. Uh, he's nowhere near 100%, but they've got to have him on the field in order to win this game. All right, Bedlam kicking off December 7th, 11 a.m. in Stillwater. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.